So before we get started, I just want to make clear that yes, I am celebrating Thanksgiving and I'm not spending all night out here looking for Black Friday deals. I'm just trying to see what's available. Got it? Good. This is in the elevator, by the way. Don't get creeped out by the mirrors. Let's observe how far this goes. And mind you, it's not even that late. It's only, so I can zoom in on that clock up there. I can't. It's only 5.13 and they just opened. So how about I come back, say at seven or eight, whenever uh, Thanksgiving dinner is done and we'll actually get some stuff. I'm prioritizing family first and then low, low prices. <sighs> One excellent Thanksgiving dinner later, we're going back to Best Buy. So yeah, this is my elevator. It's a neat elevator. It's got a mirror, so you can see how goofy I look while doing this. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can do this. Nice, now that is what I call a shorter line. Well, let's uh, get going. I don't care about that taxi. Going down. Why this video? It's gonna be fun. All right, let's get started. Let's look at some of the movies they have. The Mechanic. Uh, Jurassic Park I have. Uh, the VVH. Not my kind of movie, but I hear it's pretty good. Gotham, Man of Steel, Eddie the Eagle, Big Bang Theory. Uh, Finding Dory was pretty good, but I don't really want it on Blu-ray. Uh, oh yes! Lucina Amitos. Yeah, we thought it was going to be like 40. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, Lucina. Ness, Pitt, have them all. Uh, I need to get some of these. My friend actually asked me to get him and Nessa Bebo, so I'll get him. Uh, more movies. Uh, do they have Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade? I hope they do, because I've been waiting for them to stock that movie for a year. Alright, H. I, Independence Day, Infiltrator, Insidious 3. Nope. Oh uh, well. Now this is a great deal. This is Half America Civil War for $8. I actually kind of think I'll get that. So we can check out some of these. So what have we got? Legend of Tarzan, Godzilla, ugh. Um, a couple other stuff. I did see over here though, uh, The Nice Guys, which I've heard good things about. I haven't seen it. I might buy it on Blu-ray if it's only $7. And uh, we'll see how it is. If not, I can give it to a friend for Christmas or something. Uh, and I also have this Ness Amiibo done from a friend. Uh, oh god, that song. That sounds like the Warcraft movie. Let's just get out of here. Raise your hand if you would get this. Fan for stick for $6. Raise your hand if you would get it. Okay, now put your hand down because I know you're lying. Oh wow, $4 for Edge of Tomorrow. I actually just saw this movie like three days ago and it's like, I love it. I actually think I'm going to get this also. $7 for both Ghostbusters films. Hmm, maybe. We'll think about it. Always a good idea to look in the bargain bin, because where else can you find stuff like... Uh, let's see here. Uh, my Big Fat Group Waiting. I've never seen it. I really am not interested in it. Uh, the Happening is uh, one of the best films I've ever seen in my life. Um, it is written by that guy. And that face says everything I think about this movie. Moving on. Uh, let's see. Winter's Bone is the movie that made Jennifer Lawrence a thing. Good for it. Uh, let's see. Quentin Tarantino. I haven't seen Jackie Brown, but eh, I'll find another way. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, now You See Me looks interesting, but I hear it's not very good. You know what? I really don't care about any of this stuff. 
You know you're doing something wrong when your DVD is more expensive than your Blu-ray. That's this movie, folks. Be very afraid. Uh, to the people who watch this movie and agree with what it says, please don't. I don't care if you like or dislike Hillary Clinton. Propaganda of this sort is should not be tolerated by anyone. I can't think they released that. Ugh. I mean, I'd rather buy. I'd rather buy this than that. Uh, oh, this was excellent. A little too much money, though. Let's look at some of these amiibos. Uh, oh, gold Mario's. Yeah, finally got them at the normal price. Screw scalpers. Uh, Sonic's ten bucks. I got Ness. Uh, from the looks of it, if I can... The looks of it, it's probably gonna be twelve dollars, but... Eh, whatever. Oh, okay, he's down here. That's, that's okay, I have. Oh wait, that says Inkling Girl. Where does it say Ness anywhere? Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, so we have 24... What? I don't... You know what? I really shouldn't bother. But I remember when Lucina launched. It sold out in seconds. And I was there on the Amazon page refreshing every five seconds and I missed it. So this is like a dream. This is like a really bad fever dream. That's not a fever dream at all. Okay, side tangent aside, this movie looks so stupid. What, what is the point of this movie existing? Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Also, Lily James, Harry Potter's mother is in this? Or no, wait, Lily James. It's Harry Potter's parents. They're combined in the same person. And they're in a stupid movie based on a Jane Austen novel. With zombies in it. Seriously, why does it exist? And a lot of The Martian. Uh, I'm not going to get that. And, uh, is there anything else? Uh, Revenant's great film, but I wouldn't buy it on Blu-ray. Uh, ooh, Zootopia. Uh, it's on Netflix, so I don't really need it. Uh, a whole lot of Civil War. Already got a copy. Deadpool, I've already... Um, no, I haven't got Deadpool yet. Oh, Amiibos, look who's... I love this. Look who's back. Everyone's back. I already have Mega Man. I would love to get Pit, but eh. Oh, Lucina's only at Best Buy now? Uh, good for it. Hi, Waluigi. No one cares about you. Sorry. Well, I mean, it's the truth. I mean, who knows who Waluigi is? Uh, these are bigger than I remember, actually. Huh. Interesting. And there's Ness's over there. I got a Ness for my friend. I just kind of want to get myself a Ness also, so I'll go back and get another one. Oh, uh, I really wish I... Should I get this? It's either this or some of these things go. I don't know, I love these movies. Uh, let me think about it. Ah, I am done. So we'll do the Spoils of War at home. And I might buy some other things on other places later, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah. Okay, next up is day two. I'm here in a mall now with the game stuff because I need to exchange something that doesn't work. They sold me a while ago. I had an absolutely awful experience in there. I'm gonna discuss later. This needs to be a rant. It's just, I need to discuss this because I'm just so annoyed right now. Anyway, now we're in Target and uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Breaking Bad, I should just go on Netflix and get. Uh, I got some okay things here. Uh, I don't know. Not sure if I'm gonna get anything here given how annoyed I am right now. Uh, Oh, whatever. Hey now, you're an all-star. Let your game on. Go play. I also like books, guys. So yeah, I'm looking through some stuff. Wait a minute. Why? 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 Wait, that's a book? I didn't even know that was. Huh. It probably was just a novelization or something. Uh, yeah, why not? There have been many terrible book-to-movie adaptations recently, um, so I'm turned off on buying these books, even though I, the books are always good and the movies are not. I don't know. I've actually got quite a few compilation films here. Actually, something I would buy if I were to see any of this would be, um, they had uh, the, the Lethal Weapon uh, movie collection. So, actually, let's see if they have that. I, I would buy that. Something really tells me a lot of people love to pull tricks on these movies where they put like new movies in the $4 category to try and fool people. Like why would Now You See Me 2 be $4? Because it just came out. I mean, I mean it's a DVD, yes, but it would not be $4.
So, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Those are some good films down there. Believe it or not, this is the film that actually inspired Tommy Wiseau to make The Room. He saw this movie and was inspired by the world. And, uh, oh, that's actually, how much is... Five dollars. Hmm. Actually, I'll think about that one. Uh, what else we got? Hey, Frosty the Snowman. I love Frosty the Snowman. Who doesn't? Not for five cents. It always seems like the Disney films are way more expensive than they should be. I mean, there's like some strange differences. I guess Disney is just really stubborn to do price drops and such? I don't know. The problem with buying books for me is that I'm not as familiar with the book world, so I don't really know what I'm getting into. I mean, I can recognize some things like the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them original screenplay. Oh, so this is like a novelization of the movie, not the like original textbook thing that it was based on? Hmm. Uh, and, uh, you know, other stuff. Yeah. I don't know, I'll have to look. Despite the fact that I'm not an adult... I mean, $200 for a TV like this seems awesome. <laughs> kind of surprising that there are so many of these left. I don't know, it's kind of one of those things that excites me about being an adult. Is that, you know, if I could maybe save up and afford one of these on Black Friday. That would be cool. I also like how they're sticking a lot of TVs in, like, the, uh, clothing aisles. <laughs> nah, I didn't buy anything. I also, uh... I was told, funnily enough, by someone, they were like, no photos, no photos. You probably heard in the audio, if not, I don't know. So I'm going to go meet my parents in uh, Costco and have lunch, because Costco actually makes really good pizza. Alright, round one of Black Friday pickups. Let's start off with what I got from Best Buy. So first off, we're going to go through some Blu-ray movies. We have The Nice Guys. I didn't see this movie in theaters, but I heard great things about it, so I picked it up. It was $7. So, yeah. Edge of Tomorrow, Live, Die, Repeat, um, it's just called Edge of Tomorrow, but they, Live, Die, Repeat is, it's a great movie, it's a lot of fun, great action, awesome, Tom Cruise is awesome, this was four dollars, this was probably the best thing I got, um, Captain America Civil War, um, also one of my favorite movies of this year, it's so much fun, it was just the best, one of the best theater experiences I had, because it was just like, I was in the middle of testing, I had like taken a subject test in math that I've been prepared for for like three weeks. I didn't even know I was going to do it. I was cramming. I was in the middle of really annoying projects. I just I needed a break. Civil War came out and I saw it, and it is just so good. This has to be like my, my favorite MCU movie probably. I like it more than the first Iron Man, the first Avengers, the second Captain America. This is my favorite of the bunch. Yeah, I would definitely say so. I love it. Okay, now we're going to move on to Amiibos. Yeah, believe it or not, those things are still relevant. So, look who it is. It's Lucina. The Best Buy I was in had like a huge stock of them, if you saw my footage. Yeah, that was great. And not one, but two Nesses. One is for me, and the other is for a friend of mine who does not own a Wii U, but wanted it because he plays Ness in Melee, not Smash 4. And, you know, he's paying me for it. So, you know, I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, Best Buy was pretty good. The sad thing is the Amiibos were more expensive than the movies. So um, yeah, let's move on. Why not? Yeah, I'm in a different outfit right now. Um, at a different time, I got sick and couldn't do anything. So uh, later, let's do this. Um, I didn't get anything at Target. I might buy a few things on Amazon. Or I probably will do some Steam stuff also, but at GameStop, I got Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. There's a story behind this one, and it's a bit of a rant. So, I actually bought this game a few months ago, and I uh, had Power Rewards Pro membership that brought the price down, and I had some percent off cards or something like that that I used. So, um, the price I paid for this was like $12. And it's not a joke, I actually, I have like the receipt somewhere. Um, but I kind of had it aside for a month because I was recording Wind Waker. So I finally got a chance to play it, and guess what? It doesn't work. The disc is broken. I tried, you know, cleaning the disc, I tried putting it in different ways, I tried 
most of the things you can, doesn't work. So I'm like, okay, I'll just go back to GameStop and maybe they'll give me another one if I tell them it's broken. Well, I go back on Black Friday and I tell them, okay, this is broken, can I get another disc? And, they, and I give them the receipt and they're like, you bought this 30 days ago, you can't return it. I'm like, the disc is broken, this isn't returning it. I'm like, yeah, the same thing applies. They're like, you sent me a broken game. The hell? Well, you can just trade this one in and with your Power Rewards membership, um, you'd only have to pay about $10 to get another copy. And honestly, I could have screamed, I could have ranted, but I was just like, whatever, here's $10, just give me the game. So, yeah. <coughs> just jokes on them, because they have a broken game now that someone else is going to buy and get annoyed and go back to them. So yeah, jokes on you, GameStop, you bought a broken game. And it's not the trick I pulled. I actually said, the disc is broken. It doesn't work. And they're like, okay, just trade it in and we'll give you another one and you give it $10. So, joke's on you, GameStop. But just, I, I hate GameStop so much. The only reason I ever go there is just because, you know, they have good stock and sometimes, sometimes they can get good prices. It's rare, but it can happen. But yeah... I actually did start playing this today, and it's actually pretty good so far. I like it more than Returns already, but yeah, that's that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's my GameStop rant. Um, what's, what did I get next?